So in a convenient twist of fate, the indictment of former President Donald J. Trump came on the very same day that members of the House Oversight Committee viewed the FBI document, the 1023 form, alleging that Joe Biden took bribes in exchange for actions as vice president. Now, sources that have seen the documents tell Fox News Digital that it details an alleged $10 million payment to Joe and Hunter from a Burisma executive. The executive apparently said that he would route the payments through so many shell companies that the transfer would take at least 10 years to uncover it. And what did Burisma, this executive, want in exchange for that money? Well, he wanted to halt an investigation into his company by a prosecutor in Ukraine. That prosecutor is the one that Joe Biden leveraged a billion taxpayer dollars and demanded he be fired in six hours. And son of a B, they fired that guy. Yesterday, when asked about these serious allegations, President Biden, he just laughed them off. Take a look. I'm supposed to walk off the stage now. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. The bribery allegation, Congresswoman Nancy May says there's damning evidence in the FBI file that you sold out the country. Do you have a response to the congressional Republicans? Where's the money? I'm joking. Mr. President, Mr. Yeah, President, 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 it's a bunch of malarkey. All right, joining us now, author of a really good new book. You can get it on in bookstores all across the country, uh, Hannity.com, Amazon.com, March for the Majority, former Speaker of the House, Fox News contributor Newt Gingrich is with us. All right, it, there are two things that are beyond puzzling to me. One is, you know, in the middle of Trump's impeachment, we have Joe Biden on tape bragging that he leveraged $1 billion to get a Ukrainian prosecutor fired and gave him six hours to do it. They fired him. It turns out that that prosecutor was investigating Burisma, and it turns out the, the prosecutor was investigating Hunter Biden. Uh, Hunter Biden does an a interview on GMA and admits he has no experience in energy, oil, gas, coal, or Ukraine. Now, to me, that seems like a quid pro quo by Joe. Nobody showed any interest in that, Mr. Speaker. Why? Look, I, I think all of us who are conservative have misunderstood what's going on. It's a lot like Hillary. They didn't prosecute Hillary because she's so likable. They didn't prosecute Hunter because, after all, he's such a nice guy. They're not going to go after Joe because, after all, he means well. I mean, what you have here is absolute, total corruption. And I have a couple simple tests, frankly, for the House Republicans. Um, release the document. It's not classified. Uh, there's no reason every American can't read it. Put it on the Internet. Let all of us read. Remember, this was a confidential FBI informant who the FBI believed in enough to have paid him over $200,000 over the years. So they thought he was a very serious person. So let's read what he had to say. Second, I, I just did a newsletter uh, at Gingrich 360 uh, saying that this is the wrong indictment. The Donald Trump indictment's wrong. The first indictments ought to be all the people who are mentioned as breaking the rules and breaking the law in the Durham report. Those are FBI agents. The second indictment ought to be the two universities that still haven't told us how much money they got from the Chinese communists while taking care of the Bidens. That's the University of Delaware and the University of Pennsylvania. And the University of Pennsylvania got two ambassadorships out of the deal. And there were 10 Biden administration senior people being paid by the University of Pennsylvania with money that I think came directly from communist China. The third indictment ought to be the Biden family. I mean, how can you have, you know, it's a very simple, just ask yourself, why would the widow of the mayor of Moscow send $3 million to Hunter Biden? Why would Burisma hire a guy who clearly yeah. didn't know anything? Uh, three and a half million. Uh, I'm, I'm lowballing it. I'm trying to be conservative. Uh, why would, why would, but think about it, why would Burisma be paying him? Why would somebody in Kazakhstan send him money? Why would a Chinese billionaire be sending him a diamond? And, and as Chairman Comer reported the other day, we know of at least one case where three million dollars was sent to the Biden family from China. Uh, and finally, what does it tell you that apparently the FBI leadership insisted that the IRS disband the team that was looking into the money for the Bidens. This whole thing is sick, and it puts in context what's happening with Trump. What you have is a deliberate, vicious effort worthy of Zimbabwe or Venezuela or Cuba 
but in the United States of America to have this kind of totally ruthless use of the power of the government. You know, it's, it's ironic. This is the week that is the anniversary of the publication of George Orwell's 1984. And what we're seeing is yeah. exactly the use of state power that Orwell warned us against. And I hope that the Republicans next week will release the document, put it on the Internet, let every American see it, and then ask the attorney general and the head of the FBI, how could you have had this for several years and not investigated it? I mean, there's something profoundly sick about this. Uh, Newt spoke March to the Majority. By the way, I had the honor of actually interviewing him on his own podcast about his new book, uh, bookstores all around the country, uh, Amazon.com. Uh, Newt 360, I believe, is where the podcast is. Uh, Mr. Speaker, thank you, sir.